Welcome back to Hard Rod Automotive. Today we've got a BMW 530i again and we are going to be doing a bit of a build series on this car. Now I'll tell you about that in a second but if you do like this content please like, please subscribe and let us know what you think. <laughs> Now this car is actually my friend's car, which we're actually going to be building up a little bit. And I will get into that after, but I thought I'd do a quick update review on my first 5 Series E39 review, which I had my own personal one, which was a automatic estate 530i. Now a lot of you in the comments said that the manual really transforms the car, and I'd agree with you, definitely. It's getting much better fuel economy uh, than, than I was in my automatic. And um, it does really change the car, even though this is an SE and not a sport like mine was, it really changes the car into quite a driver's car in, in comparison. I mean, it's got loads more power on tap, the same engine, but it just robs so much the, uh, the automatic transmission. And it's quite a rare gem to have a, a manual straight six three litre nowadays. good daily driver it's pushed over 35 mpg today on the way down and i really like it but we're not really here for a review because if you want to see a review you can look at my previous 530i review they're great cars i love them now this car is actually a saloon and it's a manual and this is my friend's car who owned the Subaru WRX. Now he liked that car a lot, but he's always been a bit into drifting and he kind of prefers that kind of way of things. And that's his car, his way into car culture, the way he, he likes doing things. And obviously BMWs are a great start for drift builds. So with this car, we're gonna be building it up. We're gonna be making a bit of a drift car and uh, we'll be taking you along for the ride. So, I mean, that's gonna be, the first episode you should see is uh, we're gonna be replacing the diff with a touring diff, which is a little bit uh, shorter gear ratio, and we're going to be making it an LSD as well. So that should be an interesting episode in itself. And I think quite an underrated platform is the E39. A lot of people use the E46 and uh, the 36, but the 39 is kind of frowned upon, and I think the chassis is actually quite good. Now this one's being an SE, so it is a little bit floppy at the moment, but we will we will be sorting that out, um, as well as a plethora of other upgrades uh, towards the drifting. This particular example has 105,000 miles, and it drives really really nicely. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but. He didn't buy it for that, he bought it for uh, to have a nice daily drifter as such. And I think this is this is gonna be a very good car for that. Although I'm not really doing a review on this car because I have already, I've gotta say it's night and day different to an automatic. You know, an automatic BMW, I forget, with all these modern automatics being so efficient and half of them being double clutch and half of them being just as efficient as a manual, if not better, I didn't realize how much power and efficiency the old, or I forgot how much they took out of, of the engine. The, the, the automatic version of the 530i really is a completely different car and everyone in the comments has said so is, is completely correct. It is a much, it's a much quicker car, and it makes it much more of a driver's car as well. I mean, this is a not a facelift, it's not a sport, which mine was. And of 
obviously it's a saloon, not a touring, but it really drives a lot better having a, a manual, and it, and it really does quite good at MPG. I mean, I could I could hit 40 on the way down quite easily, um, and it's still way above 30 at the moment, um, even when you drive spirited. So I mean, that's really good for a three liter straight six engine. So if you're looking at one of these cars to daily drive, I definitely recommend it. And we're also thinking ourselves, Cameron and I are buying our own drift car. We were thinking about an E39. We're not sure what we're gonna get, but um, maybe put in the comments what you think some great drift cars are maybe not the norm. So guys, I thought we'd take a quick walk around the car. So it's obviously a 530i saloon. I believe it's a 51 reg. Um, obviously it's a little bit basic because it's the SE. Uh, no, no leather inside, which is, which is interesting. Um, it has got the old steering wheel, but you know, it's not too bad. A um, load of wood effect going on. Not too, not too much of a fan of that, but you know, it does what it does. The first thing, like I said, we're going to do is the differential. We're going to get that, uh, an NSC going. Uh, very interesting registration on it. Um, no idea what that means. Um, so yeah, 530i E39. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it's really clean. 105,000 miles. And yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of a build series on it with uh, LSD. Probably going to have some coilovers. Um, my, my friend's got quite a big list, and we thought he'd bring you along for the ride. Um, we hope you enjoy it, and um, we will be bringing our own drift car to the, channel, to the channel soon as well. So, should be a good one. Should be a good one. Please let us know what you think. Uh, we are thinking of getting our own drift car, possibly another BMW, but we're not sure yet. So, put a comment and sit, tell, give us some suggestions, maybe. But uh, yeah, hopefully, you look forward to this mini series. <laughs>